I'm sorry, but I couldn't wait till Sunday. Who are you looking for? <laughs> Nobody. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> So how do we change your opinion of your potential bosses? What's their name again? The Devons. Don't even go there. All right, I'll be right down. Thanks. Damn. Sorry, baby. Do a complete workup on you. Will you come to my office tomorrow? You don't understand. I'm not sick, William. I think I might be pregnant. You've been asked nicely to leave. Now I'm going to have to take off the cape gloves. Threatening me, Macy? Because I know what you've been up to. So did Bobby. And I have a feeling if Martin finds out, you're going to be the one packing his bags for the airport. It's a one-way street, man! Ma'am. Miss, this is a one-way street. Don't capisco. No English. You... hit... my... fender. El fender. Du är verkligen en liten läcker bit. Nunca pisco. I'm telling you, Pop, I was so close to nailing this psycho, you could smell it. And then all of a sudden, they just closed the book on me. Well, that's the way it goes sometimes, Tommy. You gotta take your lumps. No, no, that shouldn't have happened, Pop. Those murdered women, they deserve better. Well, lots of cases out there deserve to be solved. Like this one. I think you might want to take a crack at it. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Two dead women, both worked out of a strip joint on Washington. Best guess that they're moonlighting as working girls. Pretty ladies. What's the killer's M.O.? One quick snap of the neck. No signs of a struggle. I'm guessing they knew the scumbag. It sure sounds like it. So, if you're interested. Any particular signature for this guy? Yeah. Our boy's into red silk scarves. Very high end. Han, I want to talk to you. Sure, Mom. You know I always felt like we had the kind of relationship where we could speak really honestly with one another. Yeah. So I want you to tell me honestly. What's going on between you and your sister? Nothing. Really. Han, if you're going to lie, do me a favor. At least do it well. Mom, I swear there's, there's nothing... Okay, fine. But what do you want me to say? My sister's a total freak? 
Look, I know you and your sister have never been the best of friends. But lately, it seems like you can't even stand to be in the same room with one another. So can you please tell me what's going on? Do you have any idea how hard it is to have a sister like Jody? I mean, yeah, I love her and all, but if she weren't my sister, I'd probably never say a word to her. Do you ever think that maybe saying things like that is why she feels so alone, even in her own house? Well, don't you get it? She wants to be alone. She loves feeling like nobody understands her, like nobody appreciates the real Jody. You know, Jody's going through a really rough time. And I want you to take it easy on her. And I'm not? Fine, but you're not the one I'm worried about. Dr. O'Keefe, I presume? You were Charlotte. Yeah. Last time I checked. Why didn't you tell me on the phone? Well, I didn't actually know who you were until I happened to see your picture in the paper this morning. My picture? Mm-hmm. On the social page. Right. At that point, I thought the best defense was, um, surprise. You mean attack? Excuse me? Nothing. What are you doing? You don't have a car anywhere around here waiting to run me over. Look, I told you everything, officer. Deirdre was a good kid, except, you know, she didn't have much upstairs, if you know what I mean. She was a really, really trusted person, and I told her that would get her in trouble one of these days. Is that what you told Amber Lane, too? What? The first girl we found near your dumpster. Ever heard Jimmy Ray? I don't know, no, Amber Lane. That was her working name. She was one of your girls, wasn't she? You know, Sunday. You know, we've never even held hands before, and, and here we are. I mean, we're not exactly holding hands. <laughs> it's McDermott. I never thought you could be so prude. I'm not kidding. Seriously, tell me why I should be kissing you right now. It was just a kiss. Hey, but if you want to speed things up, I know. Pretty cool with that. But it's not just a kiss. I mean, I, I kind of feel like kissing is, is more personal than, well, than you know. Oh, hey. The way you kiss, I'm not surprised. Come on, I want you to tell me something. <laughs> Anything. Yeah, sure, I got the basic facts down. You grew up in South Beach, you play basketball, you're reasonably attractive. <laughs> but I want you to tell me what makes you the guy that I think you are. Oh, come on. You're serious, right? <sighs> okay, let me think. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're gonna think I'm some kind of Ringo Star wannabe, but I've always wanted to, you know, play the drums. Really? Uh-huh. And I had you figured more for the guitar player type. Oh, no. See, I like to make some, some noise. Mm -hmm. Uh, wait a minute. Why don't you tell me why I should be kissing you? Don't push it over. <laughs> There's a guy from Channel 4. Let's go talk to him. Uh, you go ahead. Uh, there's somebody I need to talk to first. Okay, but hurry. Okay. 
Mr. Lucas, have you seen the Duchess? Uh, have you tried the vicinity of the press school? <laughs> Your mother is sure not winning Miss Congeniality with the Devons tonight. She must be doing something right. Good one. I'm gonna go circulate. I'll see you later. Okay. Lucas. What are you doing here? I am going to apply to colleges 3,000 miles away from here. Mm-hmm. I figure that way, chances are people are not gonna know who I am, and I can have a fresh start, be the kind of person I wanna be. Sounds like a plan. Is there something wrong? Remember when I won this for you at that winter carnival? Remember? Oh man, I made 10. 10 shots in a row. Switch. Nothing but net. <laughs> Guy behind the counter said, nobody's ever done that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I played it off all modest, like I didn't care. But between you and me, I thought it was pretty cool. T, tell me, what's wrong? I'm not gonna play basketball this year. This can't be a coincidence, can it? I don't know. You remember the uh, psychic connection I told you about? Right, and there was one other thing. Yeah, Bajli Mishka, I know. I'm so sorry, I got called out of town suddenly. What can I say, I lost your phone. Heard that one before? No, honest, I did. I was freaking out about it all the way to the airport. Okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt this once. You look amazing. Is that one of your designs? No, Antonio Avanti designed it for me. Right, the designer. So I guess you and the Savanti guy are really hitting it off, huh? He's fabulous. I'm gonna really like working with him. Uh-huh. Well, just so you know, I'll be accepting thank yous right here all night. After all, I am the one who told you to go for it. Right. Thank you, kindly. Oh, you're very welcome for you. <laughs> so is your mother here? I mean, you did say she was on the board of the Fashion Institute. Right. Gabby, I see you've met my stepson, Lucas. You're Lucas Devon? You're Gabby Hamilton? Our guy definitely has the element of surprise on his side. That's the way I'm reading it. Sure, he comes up from behind so they don't have a chance. Exactly. The problem is this case is high priority and we're short staff. Now I got two guys working on it, but they're stretched to the backs. I need to put somebody on it exclusively until we break the case. Yeah, with a guy like this, you gotta get inside his head. You know, totally focus on where he's at. I don't have to tell you how important this case is to my campaign to get this one off the books before election day rolls around, do it? I hear you, Pop, I hear you. That's the way you say, Tom. You ready to be part of the Miami PD family? <laughs> so, you like? I like it. In fact, I, uh, I really like it. So, Kayla, tell me. Now that we've bonded, what do you intend to do with me? <laughs> Kick you out. <laughs> uh, what was that again? I, I, I can You heard me. <laughs> You've already distracted me long enough. Now come on. All right. A gentleman always knows when it's time to leave. Good night.
it's, it's not going to be easy. You have no idea. Red dress. Throw in a pregnant era of mystery? What is an equally red blooded male to think? <laughs> I don't think I'll go there. <laughs> oh, I do love a woman who exercises diligent caution. Really? Really. You know, even though your choice in cars shows a certain good taste, your response to this little incident was quite frankly a decline. Good word. Does it have one of those little accent things at the Honestly. end? Honestly. A, a guy, especially one in my position, has a real need to be up on the finer points of linguistics. Uh, don't you agree? I have no clue. If you'll excuse I'd me. I'd love to accept. Accept what? Second toe on the right foot. What? Forgot the polish. Very day class A. Oh, and, and good progress with those English lessons. Bella. Do you know each other? How come you never told me you were a Devon? Oh, why didn't you tell me you were a Hamilton? You never came up. Ditto. You lied. I lied? What about you? I mean, what was all that stuff about a, a friend of yours working for the Devons? It's not the same thing. The hell it's not. I'm going to go get some champagne. No, wait. Oh, I think you two can figure this one out. Come on, you can hardly blame me for not telling you my last name after the way you went off about how you hated the Devons. You made a fool out of me. I made a fool. OK, look, time out. If I told you I was Lucas Devon, would you have shared that ice cream sundae with me? Yes or no? Well? Be honest. OK, probably not. Then I risk my case. That is no excuse to lie. A minor point. Look, I was trying to get to know you. I definitely would not have wanted to get to know you. I don't want to get to know you now, so have a nice life, have fun at the party, and good night. Oh, and you have definitely, definitely destroyed my craving for hot fudge sundaes. I hope you're happy. Who is she? My stepsister, apparently. Guess that's uh, kind of a surprise, huh? You think? You're just going to give up on Coach Prez? Look, I didn't come here for a lecture. Besides, since when did you become the basketball fan? This isn't about basketball. We both know how much your mother loves you. And she'd do anything, anything to put a smile on your face. And you're not willing to do the same for her. Oh, I'm so sick and tired of hearing that. Like I have to have a right to feel the way I feel. Not really, no. I feel betrayed, all right? Can you understand that? I don't want him to date my mom. I don't know why, but I can't handle it. That should be good enough for the both of them. Fine. So when are you planning on telling this to your mom and Coach Prez? Do you even know the kind of thoughts that go through my head nowadays when I see either one of them? No. No, right now, the only thing I want to be is mad. So are you willing to quit the team just because you're mad? <laughs> Who the hell are you to judge me, huh? As far as I can tell, your mind's just as screwed up as mine. Or maybe more. You know, I came over here looking for a friend, but all I get is a lecture. Well, thanks. But you're the last person that should be giving anybody advice. Welcome aboard, Gabby. We're all going to be a great team during this promotion. Seems to be that way, Dr. O'Keefe. <sighs> Will, please. Will? Gabriella has a great future ahead of her. If he says that, it's a great compliment. Thank you. Do you know my wife, Doctor? Your wife? Charlotte. 
Didn't Stefan ever tell you we were married? Must have slipped his mind. Have you seen my mother? Not recently, why? I need to talk to her. I was wondering where you were hiding, or should I say, with whom? What you should do is tell Macy that his threats aren't working, and neither are yours. I'm sure I have no idea what you're babbling about. It's amazing how often you do that, Anne. <laughs> Didn't you know the walls have ears? And yours are glued to every one of them, aren't they? Why eavesdrop when I already know everything I need to know, and Martin is soon going to figure out for himself? <laughs> I hope you've made airline reservations because they're very difficult to get this time of year. Well, then you'd do well to remember that. Oh, that's right. You'd take your broomstick. I'm not going to allow you to destroy this family, Anne, and I am prepared to do whatever it takes to make you nothing but a bad memory. If I wanted to, I could bring the Devons down in a heartbeat. You're just blowing smoke. Am I? Are you willing to take that risk? Because if I were you, I wouldn't meddle in things that you know nothing about. Mother? What was that all about? That woman just threatened to destroy our family. As if she really could. Hmm. So, who's the, um, who's the girl with Lucas? Why are you so interested in Lucas all of a sudden? No, he just seems to be a really nice guy. If you ever just want to talk to somebody or whatever, you can call me. You know that, right? Yeah. I'm a really good listener. <laughs> really. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Devon Cosmetics, I would like to invite you to please proceed to the estate gardens of the Spanish Monastery for the Millennia Promotional Event.